Hello and hi to my YouTube channel Aptitude Math Learn. Guys, today we are having the question that is when 30% of one number is subtracted from another, the second number reduces to its four fifth. What is the ratio between the first and the second number respectively? So for this we take that let the two number be x and y. So here we have just taken the two number that is x and y. The first number is x and the second number is y. Now in the question it says then when 30% of one number. So here we take 30% 30, 30 divided by 100 of one number is subtracted from the another. So this is subtracted from the another number so the first number is subtracted from the second number or the another number and the second number reduces so the result of the second number it will be that is four fifth so the second number has been now reduced to four fifth and the second number we are having that is y i hope till here you have completely understood now the next step we have to find out the ratio between the first and the second between x and y. So for this we take that is so here we take the LCM that is 100. So this 100 multiplies by y. So 100 y minus 100 100 cancels out and this, this becomes that is 30 x is equal to 4 upon 5 by y and now we cross multiply it so this becomes that is 5 so it multiply by the above number that is 100 y minus 30 x is equal to and this 100 goes upward and it multiplies by Four. So 4 multiplied by 100 and here we are having that is y and now this becomes that is 500 y minus so 5 multiplied by 100 that is 500 and 5 multiplied by 30 that is 150 x is equal to 4 multiplied by 100 that is 400 y and now if you see that this is y and this is also y so this becomes that is 500 y and this portion goes this side and becomes minus 400 y is equal and this portion we bring it here and it becomes plus 150 x and now we get here that is 100 y is equal to 150 and now the ratio for x and y so this becomes that is 100 divided by 150 so this has gone downward is equal to x and y here y goes downward and it becomes x upon y so here we cancel out 0 0 and if we further divide it by 5 we get here 5 2 sir, and 5 3 sir. So now the value we have got for x upon y that is that is 2 upon 3. So this is the ratio or we can also write it in this form as well x ratio y is equal to 2 ratio 3. This could also be the answer. So these are our answer. I hope you have completely understood. So thank you very much.